What's up, everybody? So, um, y'all know that I have quite a bit of Google Pixel devices, and I enjoy using them. Believe you me, I do. Pixel 7, my most current, uh, well, Pixel 7a is the newest one, but the one I've been using, Pixel 7, but I've put that down. I put it down for a reason. And that's because as of now, <clears throat> and for the foreseeable future, Pixel 6 is my main daily driver device. Um, for those who want to know, I've run my Helium mobile service on this device. It goes absolutely well. Shout out to Helium Mobile and quick message from the channel partner. And a very big shout out to the channel partner Helium Mobile for allowing me to do this for you guys. And for those interested in signing up for their $20 a month unlimited talk, text, and data plan, you definitely can try them out for a month free just using my promo code here. Just type that in. It'll get you your first month free. And with Helium Mobile, a little bit of a different experience with them as you can also earn crypto just by mapping out their services, which you could use towards getting a new device, paying your bill, or just cash in your pocket. But without further ado, let's just kind of get into the Google Pixel 6. I have a screen grab here for you guys so you guys can see a little bit more better but there is a ton of things that you know the experience with the pixel 6 has been elevated since my decision of flashing a custom rom onto it which i've been dropping video after video lately about it and about this custom rom that i've chosen to use that has become my favorite custom rom to flash onto my google pixel phones and it's not just pixels that they are for there's um, there's different devices like from Xiaomi, um, from other brands out there that, you know, if you have any of those, you can flash Evolution X for them and it will probably um, create a much better experience. And that's exactly what's happened to my Pixel 6 with this custom ROM. So shout out to the entire development team for Evolution X. You guys did a fantastic, amazing job uh, with this custom ROM that I was able to flash onto my Pixel 6 and just kind of bring a different aesthetic to how the phone is. Now, there's a lot of customizations with Evolution X that is a plus, but that is not the uh, absolute reasoning why my experience with the Pixel 6 has become so much better with Evolution X. There are things that they brought in for my Google Pixel 6 that has made the experience, like it just bananas at this point. Um, one of the things that I, I made a quick video about and shared that video, if you guys haven't seen it yet, then yeah, you guys can check it out real quick. But it's just going to be reiterated here. And that is the fact that, you know, it has brought the face unlock. It's not that big of a deal to some people. Some people don't care about those types of things, and I totally get it. But when you, you have an experience like with the Pixel 6, and you've seen what the Pixel 6 has gone through since its release in November of 2021, up until now, we're in May of 2024, you know, you just kind of like, you've seen it kind of take little steps here and there with stock Android and you're like, it's getting better, it's getting great, it's getting, you know, um, just all those bugs fixed and everything like that. Like for those who are true Pixel 6 fans, you know, you have to be happy to see all the changes that was brought with stock Android. But with Evolution X, they kind of implemented things that we wish that the Pixel 6 had. Like we were all left scratching our heads, kind of wondering why Google did not implement face unlock when it came to the Google Pixel 6. Like we heard they were trying to do it. We heard that there were issues with it, with the Tensor G1 and, you know, maybe the chip is being overworked, you know, heating issues with implementing face unlock with the Pixel 6 that they decided not to do it. And so we never got it. It came later in the Pixel 7. The Pixel 7 has face unlock. And I'll tell you that the face unlock on the Pixel 6 model has to be brought from the Pixel 7 because it unlocks the same way. I have tried with a regular photo of myself and my Pixel 6 did not unlock to that. It did not unlock using my real face with my eyes closed. It only unlocked when my eyes were open and it can genuinely tell that it was a real face in front of it and it unlocked. So the biometric security of the face unlock in Evolution X on the Pixel 6 is pretty top notch. Um, it works pretty good. The only problem that I found with it was low light. In very, very extreme low light, yeah, I had to use my fingerprint, 
which is uh, what, you know, what a lot of us would say is probably the big difference in facial recognition unlock between, you know, the newer pixels and the uh, Pixel 4 XL. But um, without that Soli chip, that's what makes the difference. Other than that, it works flawlessly well. Uh, with face unlock engaged, I didn't see a depletion of my battery in a more rapid sense. So I can tell you that with the right settings in place, uh, you can have the face unlock and not have to worry about your battery draining out. I turned on certain things like where the screen would always, you know, awake to movement. Um, and then it started to eat the battery. So there are certain settings you got to play with in order for that battery life to literally um, be good enough to manage you throughout the day. Um, and that's the other thing about the custom ROM in itself on the Pixel 6 is that now I can actually see uh, more information and details about the battery when it comes to the Pixel 6. So I can see the usage over a span of several days. I can see it, you know, in the day itself, uh, which will give me like a good sense of just how my battery is being used. And on top of that, you can also see like how much of the battery is each app actually like using. Um, not just in a percentage base, but, you know, in the milliamp phase, um, seeing how much milliamps does it draw uh, from the battery to be, to be able to, to use those apps and have those services running rather in background or not in background um, is a very big key thing. So, you know, to see that, um, it, you know, it's, it's good for someone who's, you know, I, I guess you want to call it a geek, you want to call it nerd stats, whatever you want to call it. It's still good to see. You can kind of see just how well your, your battery is performing or if you want to know how fast it's degrading, um, you'll get a good sense of that with this ROM. Um, so that's, you know, kind of like beefed up the Pixel 6 experience, right? Aside from that, you know, having the customizations, having the ability to change certain things, change fonts, change icons and how they look, you know, gives you that sense of, you know, um, like you know, personable with your smartphone. You know, it's yours. I can line my phone up with a bunch of Pixel 6 and all in the same color. And when we, you know, when I wake the screen of all of them, I'll know which one's mine from the way that I have it customized. And that's, you know, that's one of the core things about Android. I mean, for the longest time when you compared Android to iOS, that has been one of the top five things that, you know, subjects that was put into battle as ammunition to compete against iOS is, you know, being able to customize your device. And, you know, when you have like a custom ROM like Evolution X and you have people, even in my comments uh, of my videos, basically stating, you know, like by looking at Evolution X, they get a sense that Google is lazy on their own software. I mean, that speaks volumes of just, you know, where all this stems from. And you have such a good community behind Android that you have developers who kind of bring their own spin to showcase and show off what they can do and what their imaginations can come up with as far as something that's going to run really smooth and really clean, especially on Google's flagship devices like the Pixel 6, um, speaks volumes of the Android community and why Android is winning. Sorry to say it, but it is what it is. <laughs> so... Um, you know, it's it's revived the Pixel Six. It's brought back this 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 sense of just like the wow factor and everything. It's you know brought in um, information for those who really want to be involved in just the all out performances and everything about the device. It just gives you that whole control in your hand that you can basically see just what the Pixel Six is up to and doing. So that's the most fantastic part about running this custom ROM on the Pixel 6, which is why the Pixel 6 is now actually my daily driver device going forward uh, until I decide to start doing some more video um, reviews on the devices I currently have, or if I pick up a new device to be able to do reviews on that. So as of right now, my two main daily driver devices is the Google Pixel 6 and the iPhone 11 Pro Max are my two devices. My SIM cards are in them. I have not changed them out in the last couple of days. They have been my devices that I'm using. Um, as far as like 5G connectivity, it's been really, really good with the Pixel 6. I can say that, but I'm an LTE type of guy. So I, I actually force it down to LTE, just, you know, it is what it is. 
Uh, 5G is great, and if I absolutely need it, I can switch into it. You know, it's like choosing LTE is not like a permanent thing. It's like you're stuck on it for life. I can always go back in and switch it up back to 5G if I actually need uh, the speeds and the latency that 5G provides. Um, the cameras, so people want to know, is there like you know, this huge change up with the cameras? I wouldn't say there's a huge change up with the cameras, but I would say that, you know, the cameras do pretty good because I've seen custom ROMs where you use the camera and they've had issues with the camera sensors, like a green tint that happens or anything like that. None of that happens with this. Cameras are solid. Going to get my solid photos. Going to get my solid videos from my Pixel 6. As a matter of fact, I switched up the settings. And, um, sorry, but I switched up the settings um, to where I'm shooting with basically the raw mode uh, without you know, turning off all those extra things like the HDR and everything like that, uh, that, you know, really just kind of like changes the aesthetics of a photo you take with the Pixel 6, makes it look cartoonish. So I turned those things off so I can get a more raw photo and then be able to edit those photos if I wanted to and kind of just bring it out to how I want the photo to be. Dog is barking. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to call it at that for the video. This is why... Evolution X has saved the Google Pixel 6. Why the Pixel 6 is my daily driver, even though I have the 7, the 7A, and other different Pixel devices and iPhones. Really, really enjoy this phone. Like, I feel like a lot of people slept on this phone. It's good. It had its problems in the beginning, but we're not in the beginning anymore. It's aging just fine.